Some people are pointing out that Chris Pratt must have the best agent in Hollywood based on the fact that he's getting voiceover roles in these iconic franchises. Obviously he started out with the Lego movie and most recently voiced Mario in the Super Mario Bros movie. And now he is lending his voice to the iconic comic strip character Garfield. To me though it seems that Pratt seems to be the perfect choice to voice this character. He has both that level of stardom and recognisability without having such an ultra iconic voice that would distract people from the role itself. When making a Hollywood animated movie they obviously want to have a big enough star to attract people in but at the end of the day this is a kids movie and it'll probably do just as well without him. But from listening to him in this trailer he seems to be perfectly suitable for the Monday hating lasagna loving cat. Now I'm not too familiar with the Garfield comic strips although I've seen them in memes and just seen basic versions across multiple media outlets but I did actually watch the Bill Murray movies where it was the live action films in 2004 and 2006 but it had an animated Garfield and that was voiced by Bill Murray. And I also do have some recollection of watching the Garfield and Friends animated series from the 90s although I'm not too familiar with it. Just to do some research for this, I did watch the intro again and I do recognise that intro and almost can do it word for word, so clearly I watched it when I was younger. But I don't really know too much about the characters overall. Though this film does seem to be leading into an origin story for the character and highlighting the relationship Garfield has with his father, and the premise of the movie is as follows. Garfield, voiced by Chris Pratt, the world-famous, Monday-hating, lasagna-loving indoor cat, is about to have a wild outdoor adventure. After an unexpected reunion with his long-lost father, scruffy street cat Vic, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, Garfield and his canine friend Odie are forced from their perfectly pampered life into joining Vic in an hilarious, high-stakes heist. Now this premise does sound very different to what I expected from a Garfield movie and what I remember from the live action Garfield movies that I mentioned earlier. Although it does sound like a fun enough plot that will engage the audience and especially for younger children I'm sure they'll get a kick out of this story. I know a lot of people compare animated movies to like the deep storytelling of Pixar when they pull it off really well but not every animated movie has to be that. A lot of parents I know take their children to films like this just want something fun to watch for a little bit and it can play into both the fun for children and has some adult humour that's sort of hidden in there or even just stuff that adults can find funny. It doesn't necessarily have to be adult content hidden in this child friendly movie. For a children's movie I think the trailer is pretty decent. The way the trailer opens in kind of a more serious way showing this young kitten that's been abandoned on the street and how he's able to meet his owner John by sort of showing his big kitten eyes and getting sympathy and then get fed by his new owner. I do like it when films sort of play on the sort of darker and the sadder side and then go into more comical stuff. I think I've seen that in lots of animated films in the past and I do feel that they will pull that off in this movie. Anyone can see a animal that's been abandoned and have sympathy for that character as this is a film, but then obviously we get to see Garfield let loose on why he loves like Italian food, pasta, spaghetti, lasagna and pizza. Not that I thought this was going to go and be a serious movie, but from the opening I was a bit surprised that this was the route they were taking, only to have the rug pulled from beneath me and surprise me that this is just an outright comedy. Pratt does deliver the lines very well, he's someone as I mentioned I don't think his voice is too iconic that it's distracting but he does seem to be able to deliver the sass that the cat Garfield can really deliver. And we do get to see his sidekick as it were, Odie the dog, and we do get to see his owner John and the character John is voiced by Nicholas Holt which I had to look up, I didn't really recognise the voice at first but now I know it's him I do recognise him voicing the character. And it is also later revealed in the trailer that we get Vic, the father of Garfield, who's voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. And I think he does sound great in this as well. A lot of the trailer seems to come from this very physical and silly humour, which I don't mind. This is going to be a kid's film after all. 
My impression is this is definitely aimed at children. This isn't an animated movie that's trying to draw in an adult audience. Obviously, most children are going to be supervised going to see this, so they're going to put some stuff in for adults as well. And maybe that will get shown more in a later trailer. But this trailer overall just felt very child-friendly and aimed at children directly. And you can't really go wrong with an animated movie about animals, they seem to do really well, and I think children especially will see any animal movie that's animated and be keen to go see it. Obviously the IP of Garfield the cat is famous, and not a lot has been done with it in my opinion, but that's I don't really know why that is, but maybe it is time to bring this character to a new generation of people, and as I said, this is aimed at children, but... I could see me interested in this enough to go see it and maybe I'll get a kick out of it and look back at some of the other things Garfield has done in the past. I might look up the earlier comic scripts, for example, or maybe go and rewatch the live action movies. I do really like the style of animation in this trailer. I think it's able to capture the essence and the look from the comic strip really well, but do it in a way that's bold and interesting and very eye-catching to anyone who's viewing it. I think the live-action animated version of Garfield that we got with Bill Murray, I think that has aged okay, but it does look a bit horrifying in some shots. I mean, Garfield in that looks nothing like a cat, but I would expect nothing less. And maybe the fact that this is just going to be a full animation lends itself to bringing the character to life in a different way to live action. And I think that will work really well for this movie. Seeing the kitten version of Garfield just demolish all the food in the restaurant and then as an adult enjoying the food and like disliking being cleaned up by his owner John, I find that quite funny and I think that looks really cool on this screen. I can't really think of any other animated movie that is in this style, maybe it's just because I don't have a broad enough experience with different animation styles, but I can see this is produced and created by Sony. And this is very different to what they did with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, for example, where that was going for a more comic-accurate look. But obviously this is also a comic strip, but this version just seems very bold, bright, and, you know, it's going to be very attractive to the audience's eyes and very easy to watch. And I think children are going to like the bold colours of, like, the characters. And I think Garfield, especially the bright orange, really stands out. And towards the end of the trailer, it highlights this competition where it's asking if your cat is like Garfield and if you could send in video footage of your cat acting in a funny or unique way that may be used in the marketing campaign. And that's a good way to engage with audiences, especially children may watch this trailer with their parents and then if they have a pet, they'll be keen to go, oh, let's do a funny video or something. And at the end, it does also state that dogs are welcome too and points to Odie the dog. This isn't just about cats after all. And they probably didn't need to have that competition at the end, but it is a unique way of doing marketing for the movie as it will engage certain viewers and they will hopefully remember to go see the film. And I think just any animated movie with talking animals tends to do very well. But as this is still quite a way off, we've got time to sort of build up hype for this movie and I think that will pay off for them in the long run. I'm not sure the box office numbers this could do. I'm not sure it'll go down the same lines as the Super Mario Bros movie. That attracted the audiences of just children just because it was an animated movie and there was a lot of diehard Nintendo fans and adults who'd just grown up with that character who went to see it. But then again, that may happen for this. I don't know if people around the age 30, 40 years old grew up with the Garfield comic strip. But in my brief opinion, Mario is probably a stronger IP than what Garfield is. I could be wrong and I could be very surprised. But I'd like to hear your opinion on that in the comments below. I do actually like this trailer. It's not something I would usually cover, but I seem to be experimenting with different types of film trailers at the moment as I want to cover a broad range of films overall. So I thought I'd give this a watch and I did actually thoroughly enjoy what this trailer offered to its viewers and it has got me intrigued enough to maybe go see it when it comes out in 2024. And as I said, I'm very keen on the animation style. I think it really stands out and 
I would like to see this style adapted for more animated movies down the line. If you know of anything that's similar to this, please let me know in the comments. I do want to hear your thoughts on the Garfield trailer overall and whether or not you are keen to go see this after watching the trailer. So please let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please, please, please click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.